everyone. So for today's video is going to be a review and demo of the new Maybelline Dream Wonder Fluid Touch Foundation. Now, this one I bought it for $8, $8.99, so almost $9. It comes with 0.67 fluid ounce. So for the price, it's sort of reasonable. Uh, pretty inexpensive, I would say. Um, it says it has uh, SPF of 20, and I have it in the color 20 Classic Ivory. It is a tad bit light for me, but this was the only thing available when I bought the foundation. They do range from 12 shades, um, so it's pretty good. I say if you have really dark skin tones, then you will not find your match, because I was looking at the website, and the darkest color is not as dark. But anyways, um, this foundation when I first tried it was completely different to what I thought it was. I just thought it was a regular liquid foundation. When I applied it, I was blown away because it does become a powder once you start blending it. Uh, it blends very nicely, I have to say. Love how it blends. At first, the first time that I tried it, I thought it was breaking me out because I did have some breakouts around here and I normally do not break out. It's actually very rare rare for me to get pimples. Um, I just don't and I was breaking out. But I have been trying it more and I realized that it was not this, it was something else that I will talk about later this month about that product. But yeah, it, it was not breaking me out. So... I really do like it. I would say I do have dry skin. All of you guys know that. I talk about it all the time because it is the worst thing of my life. Um, so if you do try this product and you do have dry skin, I would say to layer a good... I cannot speak today. Okay. I do say if you do have dry skin, I will tell you it's to... Do kind of a thick layer of a moisturizer before you apply this foundation or a primer because it is going to um, kind of, how, how do I want to put this? It's going to emphasize your dry spots more than a regular foundation because it does become a powder and powder will cleanse to dry spots. Now, if you have oily skin, I don't see a problem with this one. Um, this one doesn't make me look shiny or anything like that throughout the day. I just look very um, natural. It is a very natural foundation. It is buildable. I would not recommend it for you to build it up because since it is, it does become a powder, powder tends to get cakey. So I do not recommend you building it up, but to each his own. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and read the description that it says online, let you guys know what I think. And then at the end of this video, I will have a demo of me applying it. To, so you guys can see how it goes from my normal skin and then to my covered up skin. So, yeah. Let's see. Okay, so what it says, it is a breakthrough texture fuses with skin. A finish so impeccable yet undetectable. Exclusive dropper, medium to full coverage. Ideal for normal skin. I do, um... I definitely agree that it is more towards normal skin, but you can still pull it off if you have dry skin, just so you guys know. Uh, medium to full coverage. Um, I say medium coverage. Like I said, I wouldn't build it up to full coverage because it is a powder foundation. Well, not a powder, but it becomes a powder foundation. Um, what else? What else? Um, it is a very, very undetectable. Sometimes when I wear it and I don't wear heavy concealer or anything, it looks very natural. It looks like I'm not wearing foundation. So I do like that and I think they're correct with that. Um, it says, for best results, shake well and unscrew cap holding dropper vertically. Allow foundation to drop onto fingertips. Uh, I don't recommend using the foundation with fingertips. I tried that. It was a mess. I hated it. Because when you first apply this foundation, it is actually very runny. So I don't recommend it applying it with a um, with fingertips. I applied it with a flat top brush and that's how it works the best for me. Speaking about the packaging and the dropper that they mentioned on the website. Um, they, it does have 
a dropper to it. Um, I, I don't like it. I, I actually hate it. I would rather not have the dropper at all and just pour it onto my hand. Um, I, I just think it's completely unnecessary. Um, it gets so messy when you're trying to put it on the palm of your hand or even on your fingertips. It drips everywhere because it is very liquidy at first. When you shake it, you can even hear how liquid it's like shaking water basically because it's so liquidy. Um, so yeah, I would totally change that about the dropper. I don't like it at all, but that it's it's only full off. So out of 10 stars, I would give it around 8. I do think it's a good foundation, good for the price. You get a good amount of product and I would definitely recommend it. I just wish they could change the packaging because I don't like that dropper. I don't know what they were thinking. But yeah, I do give them an 8 out of 10 and just stay tuned so I can show you guys the demo and how I apply it. Okay, so right here I'm just going to moisturize my skin using Clinique's dra Dramatically Different Lotion. And um, like I said, with this foundation, you should moisturize because it will clench to your dry spot. So right now I'm just going to be rubbing it in and also patting it. So next up, I'm using a Sonia Kashuk flat top brush, and this is the best one that I've used with this foundation. Um, before, this wasn't my favorite brush, but I do like it with this um, Dream Mousse foundation. So I'm just kind of patting it in and then doing like circular motions. Um, I do think it's kind of a medium coverage, as you can see it is covering some of my freckles, not all, but it is covering nicely. But at the same time, you can also see my skin underneath breathing because I do have a blemish on my chin and it's still kind of peeking out. So it's not completely covered, which is what I like in a foundation. I don't like full, full coverage on an everyday basis. So now I'm just pouring more onto my hand um, so it can cover my forehead and my nose. You can see this foundation is a tad bit lighter than my actual skin tone. But when I purchased this at Target, they didn't have any other colors. They only had very, very dark ones. So usually if that is the case, I will go lighter with my foundation because it's easy to blend and you can always just add more bronzer. guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!